Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to show you how to change your icons on Mac OS X line, whether it's an application, a folder, a hard drive, your trash icon maybe. It doesn't really matter any icon uh, you want to change on your Mac. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first one is totally free and uh, really easy. It's just the simplest way of doing it and you just change every single icon individually to your liking. The second way is um, using a program called Candy Bar which has a 30 day free trial. If you're going to change your icons very frequently, you might want to consider uh, getting that application since it allows you to literally download whole packs of icons and just apply them all at once without you need to doing any separate work and all that stuff. So you can just use all icons at the same time and it also allows you to do some other cool customization. So let's get right into the free way first. Now the first thing you need to do is of course get icons because uh, you need to download icons first before you can change your icons. So I'm going to show you one website which is really, really uh, simple to use and that's why I thought it was a good idea to show off this one. Uh, it's called weloveicons.com and once you go on there you can go on the Mac ca the category and uh, you'll see tons of icons and you can just uh, get any one any icon you wish to uh, to download. So uh, I also have a series I hold uh, most of the time every week which is called the look of the week where I show you where to get the best wallpapers, icons, docs, all kind of customization things for your Mac. So can, you can also go ahead and check out those videos which are on my channel where I also show every week uh, new icons and whatnot. So uh, that's just a heads up. I'll leave a link in the description as well to that and to this website of course. And uh, let's go with the Twitter icon here. So once you click on get icon we'll probably redirect you to the authors page where you'll be able to download these icons. So in this case it it might not look like this, might look totally different, but somewhere on the page you'll be able to download these icons. So right here in this case it's here. So you click on that, it's going to start downloading and you should get them in a zip file, uh, zip file probably. So just double click it to unarchive it and uh, then you should be able to uh, open that in your finder. So I have my two icons that I've just downloaded right here. You can go ahead and leave your browser for now. Now when you download icons they come in two different formats. You have the .icns format which I got right here which is the official format for icons but sometimes they can still come in .png. Now both of these formats will work. If it's not one of these two formats it probably won't work or just look very very bad once you've applied the icon. So I'm going to go ahead and use the .icns icon since that's the official and most common uh, format for icons. And now I want to find the application I want to change my icon of. So of course in this case it's Twitter. So I already have it in my dock. So if I want to go ahead and pop up a new finder uh, window that's going to automatically select it for me, you can go ahead and hold command on your keyboard and click on that application. It will automatically pop up a new window for you and highlight your application uh, right here for you. I, of course if it's not in your dock, simply open a new finder window and browse to that application. Once you find your folder or application that you want to change your icon off, go ahead and right click it and select get info. This is going to pop up a little new window here, it's called the info panel or whatever you want to call it and you can go ahead and leave uh, that other window. And as you can see here in the top left you'll be able to change your icon. Now before doing that you need to copy your icon that you've downloaded. So go back to your icon that you've downloaded, go ahead and double click it, it will automatically open it up in uh, preview. And sometimes you have just one icon, sometimes you have multiple icons. As you can see here, I got them in different sizes. Now, of course, you want to have the biggest size since that looks the nicest. The higher the resolution, the nicest the icon is going to look. So go ahead and select the whole icon with this little tool. It should already be selected for you and select uh, everything. And then do Command C to copy or simply go in your menu bar and do Edit Copy. Does the exact same thing. And then you can go ahead and quit out of this. And then Go ahead and go back to your information panel on the top left. Go ahead and select that application. You should see a little blue highlight around it. That means you've selected it. And go ahead and do Command V to paste your icon on there. And sometimes it will ask you for your password, as you can see. If you change an application, uh, most of the time it will ask you for your password. If you're changing a folder, it probably will not ask you for your password. So it doesn't really matter as long as the icon is going to change. Now, as you can see, I've changed the icon here. It's changed for the application. And sometimes uh, when you have the application in your dock here, as you can see, it's not going to change right away to the new icon. It's still going to be the old one. Now, there's two solutions to this, uh, or just simply remove the application from your dock and put it back in, or just launch the application. You'll see if I launch Twitter right now, boom, right there, it's changed icon right away. So that's just a little update uh, at the dock point of view or the dock side. Uh, but if it's not in your dock, you shouldn't have this problem at all. 
Now, of course, it's the exact same thing if you want to do it on the folder. As you can see, uh, you simply do get info and change the icon at the top left. So it doesn't matter if it's an application, a folder, something else, a hard drive, maybe a, m a mobile hard drive that you've put in your uh, computer. You can change, still change the icon of that. And uh, that's the exact same thing. Uh, one more thing I want to show you guys is Candy Bar, which is an application you can download. There's a 30 day trial. Now I'll leave a link in the description and it's very, very handy to not only collect all your icons and, and organize them very nicely, but also to apply them uh, really easily. Now here in the top left, you can choose what you want to change. Now the first one is just your system icons. And uh, here you have some default icons, some folder. And here you can, f for example, change the generic folder icon which is really cool because that means that every time you create a new folder it's automatically going to have that new icon that you want uh, for it so you do not change you do not need to change that icon individually anymore you can also change your uh, empty trash your full trash icon your finder icon and uh, all that cool stuff so uh, even for cd and stuff like that so it's it's quite advanced all the stuff you can do if you go on the second one that's for all your applications and it will look for your applications and then you can just change applications individually we can just simply drag and drop. So if I want this icon for Photoshop, I just drag and drop and it's automatically going to uh, put it there. And then I hit apply icons and it will apply the icons for me. Uh, but the cool thing that really makes this uh, definitely worth it is if you get big packs of icons, you can simply click on use these icons right here and it will apply all these icons that you have right here automatically to your computer where it can change them. So for example, here, all these folders have changed downloads is green this is orange this is all that cool stuff so we'll automatically change all your icons that are uh, part of that icon pack for you and do it all for you at once which is of course really really handy uh, if you want to not waste too much time on this so that's really cool it does offer some other things than changing icon you can also uh, customize your dock here and you can change the background image of your dock and whatnot and sometimes you can even open docks with icon bars you can see here um, this icon pack also includes a dock and I can just click on use this dock and it will automatically change that for me and then when I hit apply and put in my password it will automatically uh, ask me to relaunch my dock which you can do then and then you have your new dock here a uh, nice with that little uh, old paper ish look uh, to it so that's pretty cool you can also change your dock and uh, you can even change more icons if you have a uh, different hard drives and whatnot so that's pretty cool it does offer you quite a, a, a lot of things it supports almost any uh, format you put in there and you can just drag and drop folders uh, whole packs of icons right into uh, the sidebar here and it will automatically create a whole icon collection for you so I just want to give you a heads up that if you're gonna use or change your icon very frequently you might want to consider getting this application since it really makes it much much easier for you so that's it on how to change your icons on Mac OS 10 line. I hope I covered everything. I didn't want to make it the really simple one, just quickly change the icon. I just really want to show you uh, the different ways you can change icons. Now there's also other applications out there. I think there's an application called Light Icon, which kind of does the same as Candy Bar, except it's a little less advanced, you might say, uh, although it's free. So I might, if I find the, uh, if I find the website that makes that, and if it's still updated for line, I might put a link in the description. So be sure to check the description if you want any more info and I might put a frequently asked question there. And hopefully I covered everything. Of course, you can go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions. And if you do find this video useful, you can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I always appreciate uh, a like. Well, thank you a lot for watching. Be sure to check out my two previous videos down there and my, of course, social uh, stuff there. You can go ahead and like me or uh, like me, I think, follow me and circle me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatnot. So I'll thank you all for watching once again, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.